All right, all right. Oh, yeah, I don't know why. What is up, boys? What is it? Hello. We're not showing off the fan art, dude. No, not yet. Let's wait for the finished product. I agree. Learn. Don't it. spoil it. Don't spoil you did. Uh, fellas, it's the Darkest Hour podcast, episode 18. Yup, dude. Hello. Are you muted? Kind of crazy we've done 18. We're about to do 18. That's it is crazy, actually. I'm proud. What proud of the, proud bit. of this crew. It did. It's uh it's been quite a journey. Good it sir. Is fun. It's very fucking fun. Uh so we uh haven't gotten any real announcements in the Discord. There is a whole lot of hopium and copium being smoked and freebased in that general chat, mm-hmm. let me tell you. They're and, just cooking it up these days. Dude, holy shit. I didn't even check it. Dude, don't, stay it out. Stay out. Don't go. I mean, here's anymore. my thing. I like Dark and Darker, and I'm sure there's people out there who, I mean, I think you guys probably like it more than I do. I really enjoy the game. But who wants to hang out in the public Dark and Darker Discord, which is random people, and, like, not even play the game? Like, these guys... One guy's playing like Kenshi. They're just all hanging out. Like you have, no, you have nowhere better to be. Like they're just chilling, you know. <laughs> my, am, am I being a hater? Am I, <laughs> I, just, I just don't get it. I don't know. No, totally, dude. <laughs> 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 but I mean, I, I played poker I, in I there one night. It was cool. I don't okay. go into the any of the channels. I just go into the general chat. No voice channels. No video channels. I just kind of have when I'm like sitting here playing a game or like working on something. I have the general chat up. And I'll fucking spam hold the line emotes or something like that. Cause I'm, no, you do not. I do. I admit it. I'm a line holder. I'm, I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it, dude. And I'm whenever whenever some baby is like, Iron Mace is disrespectful for not giving us an announcement, I fucking jump in there and I tell him to quit being an entitled bitch. And, uh, oh. you know, I spam hold the line emotes again. Sometimes I engage, which is a big mistake. That's the yeah. big mistake. Yeah, type, typing anything. One. Emotes are fine. Typing, as soon as you type anything in that channel, dude, you're under fire immediately. <laughs> you could you say you're, you're all handsome, beautiful people, and you deserve the best in life, and someone's like, fuck you, asshole. You're a fucking Nexon shill or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. You guys ever play League of Legends? Like you ever play sure. regular normal League of Legends? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. You'll, dude, you will engage with uh, weaponized <laughs> military grade forms of autism in League of Legends if you go into all chat <laughs> with people. They will say the most wild shit to you, and you'll be like, you'll be so clever, you'll be like, but your mom, and like, you cannot win because you just cannot fight autism. You just you can't do it. So yeah, don't engage. Yeah, don't do it. I I switched to TFT because I could not handle playing the team game League of Legends. It was it yeah. was too toxic, too awful. I swear, it felt like every other game, someone was just purposely feeding or talking shit or trying to lose. I just couldn't do it anymore. But League is pretty no, fun. League is the most League's the most toxic game I've ever played until I hopped onto Rust for 10, 20 hours. That's fair. I will say League is fun. Is, yeah. I have had like some of my highest highs and lowest lows playing League of Legends. It is it is the 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 methamphetamine like heroin crack of competitive gaming in my opinion. You know, I uh, I went out one I night in San Francisco it. with some friends and we took some Molly and drank a little bit and I was, you know, rolling it up a little bit, kind of drunk and I came home and I was still fucked up. So I jumped on jumped on League of Legends cuz I just felt like playing a game and I was rocking out to some music. And I played two games. We won both games, and I was so positive. And, like, every time someone got a kill, I was like, fuck yeah, dude, that's awesome. I love this team, dude. And I was just, like, getting into it, and everyone's, like, working together, and there's, like, this beautiful teamwork. The next day, I was, like, a little burnt, played another game, and it was just, like, it was just, like fuck bombs and screw yous. And all that love had dissipated with the, uh, the chemical as it left my system. Yeah. What do you know? Damn. Yep. So I guess if you want to grind. survive, yeah, if you want to survive a game of league, just you know, juice up on Do some drugs. MDMA, yeah, and you'll be fine. You'll be able to I went get through my it. league grind phase back in season four, dude. I'd smoke a cigarette between each and every game, mm. <laughs> just to wind got, down. And then I got there's one for message for flaming people. If there's if there's one message I want people to get away from this podcast, it's do drugs. Like it'll make most things better. Just you know, <laughs> okay. get high. 
Fair enough. I have nothing to say to that. <laughs> All right. I don't know. Stay in school, kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's way easier if you're high. Just kidding. Just kidding. Uh -huh. Just joking. Don't do drugs. Or do some of them, but not the bad ones. <laughs> anyway, gentlemen, mm. uh, the first thing I wanted to talk about tonight. Yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, there was this post on Reddit from King Rajesh that has been circulating uh, the interwebs, the dark, and, the dark and darker interwebs. He's a supposed lawyer, and there's been some videos created, some posts about it. One Peg had a, uh, a video about it, and uh, I'm going to pull it up. Give me a second. Un momento, por favor. Pull it up, Jamie. I'm getting right. an ad. Thank you, Soma. Dude. I, there's an ad That'd playing nice. on my stream? Mm hmm No, that's impossible. I would never do that. For real. Is Not it really? only is it an ad, it's a pre-roll ad, dude. Oh, all right. if it's pre-roll, uh, that's, that's all right. I can live with that. Okay. So here's the post from King Rajesh. And he essentially says at the end here, I'd predict Iron Mace's... Iron Mace seeks at least a 30-day extension on its motion to dismiss. He would ask for 60 if it was him, meaning this motion likely isn't fully briefed until October 2023 at the earliest. Oral argument, perhaps in November, December, or January of 24, with an order three to six months after oral argument, depending on how busy the judge is. So there's this whole status quo thing they mention here where... Oh. Go ahead. No, no, it's not nothing. Go ahead. Oh where whatever happens before the court case starts um, is game, is okay. But as soon as the court case begins, the status quo is set and they can't make any other meaningful changes like releasing early access or something. That's, as someone that is definitely not a lawyer and pretty done with this shit, that is how I interpret it. That is what other people have said on Reddit. Oh God, you can't really, you gotta take that with a grain of salt. So many people have said in the general chat and discord, take that how you will. So well, a lot I of I am a certified Reddit lawyer. Okay, what you got? There's something, they just need like an injunction or some shit, that's all I know. They have mm -hmm. to file like, for objection. that, right? That's yeah. <laughs> overruled. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've seen law and order. I mean, yeah. I mean, I watch I, special victims units, so I'm only I'm only uh, versed in sexual abuse cases, <laughs> no. video game cases. Oh God! Anyway, Sorry. I'm on a roll tonight already. <laughs> you are. Uh, the only reason I bring this up because you can't trust to write a post from some guy that claims to be a lawyer. Sure, is because of the memeing and the hope in the general chat and the dad at Discord is really riding on this status quo thing. A lot of people think, man, this this early access needs to launch before the 20th of June when the, when the case is essentially starting, apparently. Uh, so a lot of people are hopeful that it'll be uh, announced soon and that we'll see it on June 9th. That's a number that they're, that's, that's being thrown around. None of that is true. We don't know if that's true at all. There's no proof. We have heard nothing from Terrence or SDF or Grayson. We are just waiting and hoping. But if you are seeing people say early access is coming June 9th, it's not necessarily true. I just wanted to make that, that public service announcement. So we have to hold the line, as they say, until we actually get a message from the IM team. That's it. Simple the as that. The Church of the Nine would like to have a word with you, Soma. I'm sure. I'm sure most churches hate me. Um, but, oh. yeah. Mm. Um, that being said, it's okay to hope. It's okay to uh, um, be excited for an announcement. That's great. But silence from the Iron Mace team does not equal something bad. It just means they're not ready to announce their messaging yet. That's it. Just be patient and wait, and we will uh, get word from them soon, I am sure. So patience, my friends. Yeah, and then also, I mean, like, you know, this is just, while this guy might actually be a lawyer, he's not actually involved in the case, so, right. you know, let's not put too much, too many chips on what this guy says so far. But it would be nice if in, like, a month or so, within that range, they kind of, like, <clears throat> come out and say, like, give us a roadmap of kind of what it's looking like. That'd be comforting, you know? Oh, I agree. I mean, a, a message tomorrow you can at least would be tell comforting. us we're getting yeah. fucked, if anything, you know? Yeah, exactly. so that way, set expectations. 
yeah, set expectations. I think that'd help a lot with just kind of everybody's angst, I guess, or anger. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. I mean, a message would be nice. Um, I remember doing survivor games back in the day. And if we were too quiet for too long, we would get a ton of hate messages. People would be pissed at us. And the way we looked at it was we didn't want to drip feed messages and then have to change our mind or something would come up and we had to change a date. We only wanted to message something to the community if we were sure about something and we had a firm date mm -hmm. and a plan was set in stone. Locked yeah. in for you. you that's, the, that's the best way to do it. Because if you have to uh, you know, change something up or go back on your word or the message is no longer true a week or two later, you just look dumb, you feel bad, and people get that's pissed. That's like worst case. Yeah, Whoa. it sucks. It sucks like that. So the best thing to do is speak when you're ready. And I think the IM team is doing just that. They're going to speak when they're ready. Mm -hmm. All right. Speaking of, uh, you know, announcements and the Discord and the general chat and, you know, being social. Let's talk about social systems and dark and darker. <laughs> you like that? That's pretty good. Do you um, plan on having segue. the best social credit score? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Scary. You get, a, you get a credit card to go use in town? <laughs> you gotta up your credit limit. Oh your closing date for your gold card is <laughs> June fifteenth. Please. <laughs> what a terrifying uh, thought, dude. I mean, like, you know, that's when it gets too real. Because um, I'm, I'm a fan of like Red Dead roleplay, where I go on and like I play like a period piece, a like, cowboy game. But whenever people play GTA roleplay and they're like, I gotta get on the game and pay my my game's car payment. I gotta pay my apartment bill. I'm like, ah, ah, it's Tell too me real you didn't for take me. Take a loan out for your horse. <sighs> no, I, I like. <laughs> I I he ran stole oranges. his horse. And, yeah. yeah, and I like stole someone's gun. Mm. I bought the horse. There's no horse payment, <laughs> thank God. It's just too real for me. Yeah, that's pretty intense. Yeah. Anyway, well, second life for a reason, Donnie. <laughs> <laughs> so so uh, so social systems in the game right now are what like a chat room, and then yeah. in game lobbies as you're waiting to go into the dungeon. What do you guys think? would improve current social systems what do you think would be a cool addition i mean uh i think a, i think a place just to hang out even if you could just ran like if you could just randomly go into the uh like the tavern area where you wait if you just join the tavern and like practice on dummies or if there's just a dummy room where you could just hit stuff and people could like you know you could like talk shop with people like oh dude i see your longsword's doing like 180 damage to that dummy like how are you getting that done and then like That'd be awesome, stuff like that. Just random lobbies you can join with your buddies. That'd be cool. Yeah, I agree. I think having some sort of like large tavern that you could enter with your character at any time, Take pop down in and some out of. Ales. I think Digital that'd be cool. Ales in the tavern with your boys. And... Yeah, like yeah. little mini games. I think that'd be sick. As long as there's gambling, I'd be all for gambling it. for sure. For sure, gambling. You know, there's gonna be some guy that's if they come out with a decent, like a, a mildly decent gambling video. There's gonna be some guy that's like, I played this entire playtest of Dark and Darker, only gambling, <laughs> never ran one raid. <laughs> <laughs> there's always people like that. There's some people that play Dark and Darker just to be in the market selling and I'll, selling. I'll watch the whole video. Like, <laughs> I'll love it. I, uh, I I like the idea of. A tavern, though. I think that'd be really cool to go into a tavern as your character to be able to hit target dummies for sure to test out different builds, but also just to, like, essentially have a chat room that you could walk around in, VoIP or text. Uh, I think it'd be... It, I think it'd be better for people you just to want to form play, a group. Huh? Yeah, I'm dude, not really into role-playing unless it's, like, a tabletop game. I don't want to... I don't want to role-play in Dark and Darker... I want to I want to kill players and take their shit. Yeah, okay. I'm be the I've wise old man in the tavern giving out a question. I know you're nah, close. Nah, no. Someone wants to turn Dark and Darker into Moon Garden or whatever on WoW. At the, no, the, the I end. well, I do have I do have one idea that I think would be cool, and I told you guys okay. both about it. Is what if there was like a, a mini Dungeons and Dragons campaign, like Fifth Edition Dungeons and Dragons, and it was set in the Dark and Darker world, and your characters are in the tavern. And you guys roll, you role play as your D and D characters uh, on like roll 20.com or something like that. And then when you have to go into combat, you go into dark and darker and you go into the dungeon as your same characters that you're role playing in D and D. So if I, I'd be the fighter, you'd be the ranger, Jay would be the wizard and we'd have the same gear and, and act the same way. 
in D and D as we would in game on comms. <laughs> and then you like think that you, would work. I think I think it could work. What if you get wiped, funny. dude? Campaign over. Oh well. Um, you know, maybe it's a hardcore campaign. <laughs> Damn. Or maybe That's some like shot. angelic uh, being comes in and and pulls your souls from your bodies and resurrects you back at the tavern so you can keep the campaign going. I don't know. Oh, I thought that'd be cool, but maybe it's stupid. Yeah, maybe I'm just a nerd. <laughs> There's something there. You could you could make it fun. Like, ah, taste my arrow! Mm -hmm. Like, just full-on <laughs> creeping people the fuck <laughs> out with roleplay. <laughs> the mighty quest must continue! <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, fuck you, your mom's fat. You're like, yes, <laughs> thank you for roleplaying with me, brave warrior. Well, ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, so... Uh, Here's the, the big chunky thing I wanted to talk about tonight, if if you will. Yes. Guilds. First of all. I love guilds, dude. I, I called dibs on loot council first slot. Okay. I was gonna say first okay. of all, we gotta have a guild. Chat I'm looking at chat right now. Who here would oh. join our guild? Who would who would join up? Let you me want say to run a guild, Soma? Oh, I I've please. run guilds before. Yeah, and wow. Dude, oh. okay. Did you guys uh, watch Twitch content during? Uh, did you guys watch Asmongold at all <laughs> during like uh, WoW Classic and all that business? Like TBC, bit, yeah. dude. Some of the best stuff was like the guild drama that he would <laughs> yeah. have. Oh my god, <laughs> the 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 creatures this man would have in his guild, and they would have like loot conversations. Oh, it was it was magical. It was it was fucking wonderful. Like I, I please let's have a guild. Like I want to. I want yes. I want that interaction in my life. I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be hilarious yeah. too. It'd be great. I would just join. I would be a part of the guild. I wouldn't want to run that shit. No, I don't want to run it. Crazy. But we'll, run, we'll no. See it. what we'll do. We'll be the mascots, and we'll let some poor guy who just who has way too much on his plate, also known as Soma, run the guild. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. I like that teamwork, yeah. boys. I love that. I mean, it sounds like a pyramid scheme. That's a good one. I'll be the guy. Listen, guys. <laughs> yeah, we you want all your gold. complaints, and you just want to talk crap about them, and we're in the guild. Like I'll be like, oh, pff, he sucks, bro. Like, come on. Like, ah. This you know is him. this is when you guys would have the in-game tavern lobby, and you'd all sit around a big table with your digital mm -hmm. ale, and you'd be like, you know, Soma is such a fucking tyrant. <laughs> he takes he takes all the blues for himself, and the ones he doesn't want, he distributes. Yeah. 500 exactly. gold a week tax, man. I just can't do it anymore. Exactly. <laughs> Unacceptable. Yeah. Unacceptable. Exactly. But pay mine, please. Mm -hmm. Oh, there will be a guild tax. Yeah. 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 It'll be yeah. about 50 gold an hour. I think that's fair. Oh, God. Oh, every t every, time, so, you, every yeah. time you enter a lobby, you have to bring us a gift out of the yeah. You think this the, is uh, fun? This is a full-time job. Like, come yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> We're here to win. Yeah. So, I mean, in the past, in Q&As, they have mentioned that they do plan on adding guilds, if I'm not mistaken, right? Oh, yeah. So how do you think, uh, how do you think it would work? Do you think there'd be like an in-game guild hall? Maybe that's the, the, so, the in-game social lobby that they would add? Or what do you guys think would be efficient and fun and cool? Definitely some sort of tavern where you guys could join. I mean, like, you got to let people run around and do dumb stuff with each other. You know, like have like a dueling arena inside your guild or like not even an arena, but like a dueling pit training in the grounds. guild hall. Yeah, yeah. yeah, training grounds. And then let people like upgrade the guild, give people a reason to spend money in the game. Because I, I think that's one of the big things that I foresee being a problem is a money sink. Like you need money sinks for people to do things. So that's true. It'd be fun if you got a training ground and you could you could duel your friends and whenever you duel them like they don't die they just like fall to a knee and it's like oh you won like you know what I mean something like that. Right. But one v one yeah. for a guild invite. There you go. See, invite them to the oh. guild hall. But you could have guild Earn tryouts your in. in your training yeah. hall. Yeah, Earn and then you could like upgrade certain things. So like your training ground at first is maybe just like a sand pit, and then it like turns into a whole coliseum. I mean, you know what I mean? Get get as get as fun and as crazy as you want to get with it, but. <clears throat> let people like come together spend money in the game spend time together in places that aren't necessarily playing the game i think that'd be fun yeah you know the uh in the tavern lobby back in the day there was that one room that's locked and if you look in the window it's filled with treasure yep. yeah they could have that in the guild hall and that's the guild bank right you could just have a bunch of shit piled there up in there and you could walk could up you to steal the door from it though that's a real question I think it'd be similar to other games where you'd have to give certain people like officers and whatnot access. Because yeah, if yeah, little I'll Johnny, if little Johnny joined the guild and five minutes later, 
<laughs> stole everything. Withdrawn out of- from the G Bank, dude. <laughs> yeah. Empty in that, no, that would be whack as hell for sure. I would inside some guilds, dude. I'm so down. <laughs> <laughs> Get the siphoning codes, money, you know? just corruption and siphoning money out of the guild for your own. It's like you know, two percent a week or something until they catch <laughs> on. Oh my God. Um, what do you think, oh. if at all, would be drawbacks? Do you think anything could potentially suck about guilds? Tax. I guarantee you, every guild will tax if they have a reason to. Anyways. Mm. Yeah. I I don't see a reason like it being bad bring players together like you know obviously you're gonna have guild drama you're gonna have a video and you're gonna have people complaining about it but who cares like those are the people you're choosing so, to spend your time with yeah, yeah that's part of the like fun yeah. um but nah no downside and I mean unless it like takes away from actual develop development of the game no downside I mean which, which it will a little bit probably but you know. Get, let, if, let people own stuff. Like that's fun. It's fun yeah, to give yeah. people things to do and own and make. What if there was uh, some sort of mode that only guilds could enter, and it was like a guild wars type oh, mode yes. or something like that? Like a little nine v nine or something. Now that mm-hmm. actually sounds that good. sounds cool, right? You know what? Um, speaking of League of Legends, they used to do Clash. League of Legends Clash, where it'd be like you would get your own five man team together. And it would team you up with people in like your guys' relative uh, League of Legends rank, and you would be in like a little ladder of like thirty-two, like of like sixteen teams, and the team who won the whole ladder got like a special prize. That'd be fun if they did that with yeah, guilds. I remember. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah having cool if you got like yeah a big guild competition, like you you spend like maybe at the end of every season or or wipe or something like that, you have all wipe to like get your guild rich and powerful and set up. And then at the the end of the wipe for like a week, they have this like Guild Wars event or something like that, and the best guild gets something. Maybe they enter guilds like a with guild the most, hall like, of fame boss or, kills or something. Yeah, boss kills, most PvP kills, guild versus guild type game modes where the the guild that does the best is put into some hall of fame or something like that. That could be really cool. Can you imagine cool, the guild plaque on the tavern walls like fifty oh, names deep, dude. Dude, that sounds awesome. Yes. And eventually, like, I'm, years I'm willing from now, to they'd get have really to, like... fat for this. <laughs> I'm willing to put my health at risk to be the number one Perfect. guild. You were willing to do the 100 Nuggy Challenge. I know that you're I'm willing, willing to, to get a third yeah. chin. I'm already, I've already got, like, a double chin kind of going. I'm willing to get a third chin for this guild. All right? That's how committed I am, boys. That's actually real dedication <laughs> right there, and I respect that. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, what about tabards or, like, specialized guild cloaks? Ooh, that would be yes. sick. Some nice customized did you guys, cosmetics. Um, did you guys ever play Arc Age at all, the MMO? Nope. I actually did, and I thought it was really fucking fun gliding around in that world and being able to build so, really custom classes, yeah. It was really cool. They kind of ruined it with pay-to-win shit. Yes, sucks. they did. But yes, they did. one of the cool things was um, there was like a whole sailing thing. And you could all put your own custom image as your sails, like on your sails. So, like, if you saw four dudes with like skulls sailing at you, are like, oh, fuck, this fucking guild's come at us. Like, so any cool. image? Yeah, well, I don't know about any image. I mean, you probably I think can't Bikeman put boobs on her. Had like, like that. something about like yeah, AIDS okay. on his or something. <laughs> 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 it was funny for a while. You oh, like a rainbow God. and like AIDS or something. <laughs> something hilarious. But, uh, oh, wow. Yeah, all but right. you could have like. Uh, <laughs> Full on like guild images, so it was cool. You'd see like, oh fuck, that's like the big guild coming to kill us and shit. So it's cool. That's hilarious. I think having um, a tabard or specialized cloak that you could, uh, you know, create with your guildies and and modify uh, would be amazing. I think that'd be sick, right? Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, it it could be um, like a cosmetic slot or. Or maybe whenever you put any cloak on, if you have it, you know, like the guild cloak uh, button clicked in your inventory, it just displays whatever your guild crest is on the right, cloak or something right. like that. That could be really cool. That way you Slap can still... Or shield. Or shield. That'd be sick too. Yeah. Yeah. Either or. I think that'd be cool. He's awesome. And that way you know, like, oh, like, dude, some guys from fucking the Darkest Hour Guild fucked us up last night. Fuck those guys. You know, you're in Jin Chat. Fucking hate that guild. <laughs> we should call our guild it. the Dark Swarm. Oh, 
dark swarm. No? Wow. Okay, let's not do that. Uh, no, please no. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> uh, Valfor had a cool idea. Microtransactions for stuff to build in your guild hall that you could also buy with in-game currency. That's like one way they you could... It's like a harmless monetization. They could, yeah, yeah, exactly. As long as it's not functionality. As long as it's like, oh, you want to get the floral tapestry for your guild hall, you can pay three bucks. Sure, fine. I think that yeah. I think oh, yeah. that'd be cool. Yeah, that's that cool. makes sense to me. But as long as it's not functionality, right? Like the, the idea of like I, how I said, you know, you can upgrade your training grounds to become bigger and bigger as long as you can't pay to win that. Wait, kinda... why? Why would upping a training ground with real money be a bad thing? Well, because you could like uh, you could have better and better like scenarios, right? Like you could have like let's say your training ground can go anywhere from like a small little sand pit to all the way to like a full coliseum, right? And if you could just pay to win that, it's like well now you're kind of like getting rid of like the grinding that our guild did with all our gold in game and all our hard work to get the the big training ground and like have the cool training moments with your your guild. Yeah, those so. those and poor pay people. And for a bigger guilds. hyperbolic mm -hmm. time chamber. Yeah, something like that. It's cheating, dude. Yeah, the poor yeah. people guilds. So they'd have like care. a sand pit, and the rich people would have a <laughs> giant coliseum. Yeah. Be awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna join their guild. I know, right? Our guild's gonna yeah, suck. I want to be jump a up. rich. I want to be in a rich guy's guild. <laughs> Ugh. I can't wait to see how they they try to monetize beyond just selling the box. It's gonna be interesting. I don't think they're well, gonna I mean, do anything like, predatory. More I coffee hope deals. I more what? Sure. More coffee deals, dude. See, the green is uh, tankered in game. <laughs> I think uh, that I think that deal with Madrinus was probably set up ages ago, and it was just so, semi slightly unfortunate that it was announced while people were waiting for some other announcement, right, right. about the game. Yeah. Unfortunate. That's why they had Grayson do it. Terrence and SDF do these announcements. They're like. <sighs> Listen here, this announcement <laughs> might not go well, Grayson, so we're going to have you take care of this one. <laughs> they just walk by, they're like, hey, pal, uh, how much you get paid, Grayson? And he like, says his number, like, okay, so this is why you get paid this amount. Go ahead and eat shit for us real quick. <laughs> Enjoy the, the DMs and the, the friend requests and the ats in general yeah. chat. Yeah. Noob. Speaking you know, of collaborations, mm -hmm. I have a prediction for a collaboration that's going to happen. Oh. I'm currently sitting in one because I just saw the Diablo 4 like Secret Labs the Secret <clears throat> oh, Labs collaboration it, dude. Dark and Darker Secret Labs chair coming and if, it, and if they do it I'll buy it if, I'll buy a Dark and Darker Secret Labs really? chair really? yeah I would well, also yeah. buy one that's really? just like 500 bucks dude it's gonna hurt yeah they're, they're good chairs like I like it it's fine like yeah. I like mine they're, they're pretty decent chairs I, yeah. I wouldn't buy a chair though I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I would 100% buy one. I'd put my smelly, stinky gamer ass in that chair and grind. Yeah, I'd let my that, <laughs> I'd let my swamp balls just fumate that, that that cloth while I'm just chopping heads in the dungeon, dude. Jay says that, but Jay, you're wearing boxer shorts right now. Almost bare No, I'm ass. not. I'm wearing short shorts, okay? <laughs> you're gonna call me out for my boxer shorts. Are they? What like, do you mean? You've been like, walking uh, around on camera. We can see those beautiful spin, legs. Dude. Stand up. You got no, great not, legs. No. <laughs> I know look I got at, good. Look legs. at these yeah, legs. What's, what's wrong with my short shorts? What's nice. Are fine? Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, put put it away. We'll, put a it couple away. leg curls. Yeah, maybe oh. uh, put that thing down. Yeah. There you go. I'm about to rename the dark hour, dude. Those are fine. I, I like shorter shorts. Like, I, you know, if you got nice legs, show them off. They are That's beautiful legs, yeah. They look nice. Yeah. They look oh, powerful. Thanks. Powerful gamer legs. Stop hinting that you would like to, to be between my legs, dude. It's a little weird. Uh, no hint. And needed. Oh. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, sure. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, nice Biker shorts. Biker girl shorts? Is Watch up. yourself at TwitchCon. Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Um... So why don't we, for the second half of the episode, move into q and A? I I want to hear what chat thinks about guilds, social systems, or any other random questions, thoughts, concerns, complaints, any of that stuff. Compliments, hopes, your dreams, your social security number and routing number and checking number. Let us know. Three little ones on the back of your credit card. Mm -hmm. We need yeah, the security code. We need that too. Dogs, first name, street you grew up on. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's do that for the next second half of the podcast. I ha by the way, I have to go right at eight. I'm going to uh, get some sushi. 
uh, as soon as this is over. So uh, lay it on us, chat. Which I know I can't wait, dude. I'm so stoked. He doesn't love you, chat. He's just he's just here. He's just here as long as he has to be. You know, totally. He's like he's like a stepdad. You know, he's he's like your he's like an absentee father. He's gonna drop you off at Dairy Queen like at five thirty. You're gonna have to wait ten minutes for your mom to show up. He's just, he's not he's not staying around. Mom's not in the picture. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so you just have a stepdad. <clears throat> Um, exactly. Anyway, this makes me sad. Let's move on. Yeah, that was very sad. No, I, the restaurant closes at nine. Final order goes in at eight 45 and I have to drive there. So I have to give myself adequate time. That's why. Fair. Not that you guys need to know my excuses. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got here. What guild name, um, would guild name also show up by your name in the kill feed? Huh? Maybe a guild tag or something. That'd be some long ass guild names, I bet. Every guild tag letters, I've ever right? seen in a video game is always like I gay or or like something ridiculous. Would it would it just be a bunch of memes? Yeah, I mean that's oh, fun. Right. Okay. Fair enough. That's like half the point. And that if way it's I all mean, memes, you know, great. That's, that's kind of a cool way to keep track, right? Because you can have all the different characters with the different names, but you could have like D, like darkest hour podcast like dhp for our guild and you can see like oh you know this guy like a ranger or a hunter or whatever and you can kind of keep track of like all the dhp people mm -hmm. so that'd be cool mm -hmm. i'd be down for like four letters yeah i kind of like that you know? actually like call of duty guild tag would be cool uh what mechanic would you like to see on another class i double jump moved to monk the real mobility class okay well speaking of monk i would like to <laughs> see wall running or being able to catch arrows or bolts and uh, then throw them back and throw in like other throwing weapons and whatnot. Shrukens and yeah. shit like that. That would be sick. Wall running, Jay? Wait, yeah. Of course. I just want teleport. That's all I want to know. At least on wizard. Come on. I'll take when you say teleport, do you mean you choose your location and then teleport to it or like a blink, like a mage and wow? Either or. You're either Probably Reaper a from Overwatch or a blink. That's what I want to see. So in, in Dungeons and Dragons, there is a bonus action spell. I think it's second level called Misty Step. And within, I believe, 30 yards, you choose a location you can see. You pick it. You teleport over to it. I think that'd be great. Mm -hmm. That makes sense for wizard, for sorcerer. I think like if, give if Rogue them... can fly in the game, then I at least want to blink. So. <laughs> I think give them one per like meditation. So like they can blink once per fight, basically. I think that'd be sure. fine. Yeah, something. Hmm. They get one getaway per. Well, I don't know. The wizard is already. Yeah, like a flash. Not to not to say wizard needs a nerf, but <laughs> yeah, a flash. Maybe maybe it's like, maybe it's like not far. It's like five feet. I think that'd be yeah. fair. Yeah. So that way you're not completely getting away. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. That's a good idea. Hmm. And then a follow up question from Stashko thirteen or a mechanic that you would simply like to see added to the game. I can't. I don't know if I can think of anything. What do you say, sir? A mechanic. Mean, just like some a new mechanic that could be added to the game that could be cool, just in general. Um, Different ammo maybe. types would be fun. Like for bows, you know, like you have like you could use you could make maybe like craft things like poison arrows, stuff like that. That'd be fun. Yeah, SDF mm -hmm. said expensive. poison arrow when he was talking about scrolls like many months ago. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. Hmm. That'd be cool. Maybe, well, okay. Maybe if you're, like, putting, like, ointments and stuff on your sword, maybe that gets too crazy. Maybe that's too much. <laughs> maybe some yeah. mechanics for the soul heart. Just to be yeah. able to, like, grief people or make so make it so they don't get res or something. That's something I want to see is, like, a solo. Yeah, more uses for soul heart could be cool. I like that. So stop reses and stuff. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I saw a good could question. Could do more, <clears throat> maybe, like not hard cc like knockbacks or like pull people into a certain spot type thing they don't want to introduce hard cc's like long stuns and shit yeah whenever you get whenever there's too much cc too many stuns too many roots it, it, the game starts right. to get kind of shitty to play uh there doesn't feel good to be against it's just not fun yeah nope. too too many sucks and there's not a lot currently. There's the hunting trap. There's bind the cleric spell. I mean, whenever you throw like a Francisca axe with, as a barbarian at someone, it slows the person down a little bit. A little bit of that's okay. But if everyone suddenly has a stun and like massive mobility, then it's just League of Legends. It gets a little too right. crazy. 
Yeah. Um, <clears throat> let's see here. There was a good question. Where is it? Where is it? I'm missing it. Give me a second. Uh, Hunter Brawl, 1997, says, what would be your dream map? I would like to see a village or like a town, like a Dungeons and Dragons type village or town where the townspeople are turning into the undead and you're trying to escape the village before it's taken. Like, think, uh, what's the town in WoW? Strat or... Strat? Well, like the undead town? Yeah, is that, it's called Strat, I think. Oh, Stratham. Yeah, yeah, Stratham. yeah, yeah, Stratham. Stratham. Yeah, 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 Stratham. Yeah, so some kind of like, uh, uh, I don't know, I couldn't think of that. Uh, some sort of like village or town that you have to escape from because it's being overrun by the undead or some shit. That, that, I think that'd be super mm, fun. Sounds good. I think that'd be a I sick. want the out of left field, like modern map, like drop me in an interchange, you know, from <laughs> put me in a big ass mall with my boys from the dungeon. You time warp to the, the far I like future. Like a, yeah. a big we break kind the of... simulation, you know? Oh my gosh. There's Killa coming down with a 60 round clip. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> but, uh, I... I, I, but I mean, that's a fun idea, like a, like a bazaar, you know, like a big market that's been kind of overran with dead and stuff. That'd be fun. Or what about um, some like dwarvish stronghold? Like some, you're in like a dwarvish mountain stronghold. Be fun. Yeah. That could be really sick. I would too. like different maps to have different mechanics. So like an idea is like I'd love like a snow map where um, you could see players' footsteps for like a minute um, after they've been made. So you could like Ooh. track players from their feet steps. Like I think that'd be fun. Um, like different mechanics for different maps mm -hmm. that add some fun stuff. Where you know it's like maybe. On That'd the snow cool. map, you got to play a different way than how you would play in the regular dungeon, right? You're like, well, we got to be careful about where we go. Yeah, cold like damage, stuff like whatever. that. Yeah, it'd be cool if there's like <laughs> certain maps maybe that are harder that you have to have like certain consumables to do more effectively. That's not a bad cool. idea. A little more hardcore for the, the crazier players. Yeah. Like the regular map <laughs> should be, you know, the base map should be like ruins, dungeon, and then uh, hell, right? And then you could have certain maps that get like a little bit more particular. I think that'd be fun. Hmm. And would a map like that be attached to other maps, like ruins down to the crypt, or would it just be like a standalone thing that you would have to enter? I, I mean, well, I mean, if it's big enough or something, they could do standalone, right? Hmm. They could do standalone, but I'm also, it wouldn't matter, right? Because we're not merging. So it's like everybody who goes through that that pipeline is going to be in the same server as you were like the level before right so you can do whatever you want i see some people talking about it in chat but obviously the dragon's lair some like volcanic dragon lair or something like that I, they've kind you of hinted like, at that a little bit i know they want to have a dragon in the game eventually <clears throat> there is the named weapon uh kuma's fang and kuma's claw maybe one day we'll fight kuma himself or herself who knows yeah, we'll go to the kuma's lair Mm -hmm. Sorry, I had to. Mm -hmm. I had to. Come on, um, oh. uh, <laughs> bring our boxes. <laughs> okay. uh, Aldo Yup says thoughts on weapon skins or event slash holiday rewards that you can earn. I think weapon skins or armor skins definitely make sense. I just I don't really have a problem with skins. So yeah, I don't it seems it. like the easiest, most like obvious monetization way, anyways. Totally makes sure. sense to me. Yeah, if you go into the, the shop and you could buy um, a skin that is specifically for the arming sword or something like that. Like maybe it's uh, it glows fucking blue or something. I don't know. Just to throw some, some idea out. That makes sense. It costs like three bucks or something like that. I would, I would probably buy uh, some cool skins. Why not? It's a cool way to support them. And it's fun. Mm -hmm. uh, what else we got? <clears throat> Are there any classes that you think would ruin the game, i.e. Necromancer from Sens00? First of all, Necromancer would not be its own standalone class. Uh, Necromancer is a school of... Necromancy is a school of magic that wizards can learn. I don't think Necro would be a standalone class. That was an action. I'm moment. hitting the... Uh, every yeah. time, dude. Every yeah. time I'm hitting the nerdy mode. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> It's true. Um, glasses. <laughs> Soma loves to talk about Necro and Wizards because people bring this up pretty much every week. I think, the, I think that the devs will eventually add in subclasses so that you can continue to progress with your character past max level. I think it makes sense. Yeah, I think fun. if Wizard could take some perks and skills that allow you to raise the dead or control skeletons in the crypt or something like that, 
Uh, it makes sense. It'd be cool. You've heard that exact line four times in a row. I'm going to have to keep saying it eight more times. I guarantee it. Yeah, I want Dark and Darker to have like a Path of Exile level skill tree where you just you have to look up a guide or it's just terrible. <laughs> no, no, please no. There's like 800 different skills to take. You're just, you're just miserable <laughs> the entire time. Yeah. The only it's concerns awful. I have for classes is like say sorcerer outshadows wizard paladin outshadows fighter cleric or whatever i hope they don't have those issues i think I it's definitely possible i think it's possible man it's gonna take i think it's possible during early access but once they have all the classes in the game and there's full release and they can actually concentrate on balancing it'll fix mm -hmm. it but that i have thought about that whenever when they release paladin are people just gonna say fuck fighter why wouldn't i just play a fighter that can heal itself Right. Beyond second wind, of course. I don't know. Yeah, I'd hope not. Why play cleric what, what, when I can play clerics that, or I could play a paladin, which is essentially a cleric that can use a sword. Mm -mm. Well, I, I think you balance that by saying paladin can't use a bow, like no weapon master for paladin. Um, That's true. Couple things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, 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 there's ways. ways to do it. Yeah, there's ways. What else could you do to limit certain classes from overshadowing others? Just I think purely you just mechanics, gotta... perks, and skills. Yeah, my favorite approach to like game design and stuff like this is like kind of the rock, paper, scissors approach where, you know, you have like a barbarian and uh, like a ranger can easily kite a barbarian, right? But you have like, uh, like a, I mean, wizard gets shit on by everybody, so there's no rock, paper, scissors there. But, <laughs> but I, I like the rock, paper, scissors design where it's like certain things counter other things. And so your team is better off being diversified to uh, play to your strengths and like counter your weaknesses. I think that'd be cool. Yeah, def I'm a fan of it. Definitely, I like counters. Yeah, because like you know, if you like, let's say you take a fighter instead of a cleric. I mean, instead of a paladin for your client for your group, right? It's like, well, now we're going to be more of a meatball if we have the the paladin here because it's like I can heal you, I can heal you, but we can't fight at range at all. But if you take the fighter, it's like, well, don't meatball them. Like let's let's sh let's kite them at range a little bit and then go in when they're injured. You know, like make them exhaust their spells. So mm. just different ways to play. I like that. Um, Valfor asked about guilds. Would guild symbols be limited to the ones Iron Mace comes up with, or do you think you could make your own somehow? I think it makes sense to have like a guild cloak or tabard or sigil editor in game. Right? Why not? I mean, obviously, there's yeah. only. Gonna, I don't think you're going to be able to upload, you know, a picture of your dick and throw it on a tabard or like take a picture of your cute puppy. What a shame, and, dude. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. You know, there's going to be there's going to be 50 <laughs> options you got to choose, right? I think. Did you guys? <laughs> go ahead. Sorry, I interrupt you. <laughs> no, it's all good. Go for it. I was going to say, did you guys ever play Black Ops, Call of Duty Black Ops back in the day, mm -hmm. when yep. you had like the tools to create your custom banner? There were so many ones with just big boobs. Yeah, exactly. Just, just yeah. a big yeah, dick. A like, if, you time, give, if you give gamers the tools, we will make boobies and penises like That's all right. day long, dude. It'll be boob we'll guild versus dick guild. We'll just be fucking each other in the, in the goddamn dungeon. It'll in be great. Come just on. dicks and boobs clashing. Mm, gotta love it. Uh, let's see here. There was another question I saw that was good. Oh, uh, Valfour asks, should there be a limit on how many people you can have in one guild? Yeah, it'd I, probably be like a divisible uh, by three. 30, 60, 90, something like yeah, that. Yeah, 40, something like that. So That's it? Like 30 to 50. Yeah, because I mean, like, really? how many people do you need? 100 at least? No? Too much? Chat, what do you guys think? Maybe. What should the guild cap be? I think 100 people is solid. Sure. I guess it just like how many how, how many is it for yeah. WoW? It's a hundred for WoW, right? I think so. I don't think there's a cap in WoW. No, there's a cap. No, I think it's like a hundred or something retail. like that in WoW. But like, mm -hmm. um, you know, we're not running raids. We don't have forty man raids, so not it's yet. True. I, I know we're we're thinking about doing like the pod the podcast guild and stuff, but it's like, how many people would you realistically want in a guild? And like. Then also think about it if you're, you know, think if you about don't have an think about time zones and when people play though. Like the reason why you want to have more is because the chances of all 100 people being online at the same time is pretty slim. Yeah, but right. you can't find two other people to play with in a 40 man guild. I mean, yeah, I'm sure I mean, I you feel could. Like you'd be surprised. Yeah. Then. Mm -hmm. Well, true. I've been in, I've been in pretty big guilds that are just dead and well. So it doesn't that's true. Me. I've been in a hundred person little... guild where there's six people on. That's it. Fair. I would be willing to say most people will be on online and MMORPG way more than like a 
queue up, play a game, get out of it type of games. So. Probably. Yeah. No. Yeah. All right. What other questions do we have? I know there's a few floating around. <clears throat> Anything in your chat, Mr. Griffey? Um, guild banks and armories. Yeah, that'd be fun. We we talked about that a little bit. Yeah, totally makes yeah. sense. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and that way you could hand off gear to other guildies. No fee required. That's like a perk of having a guild. Well, right. Well, arm. That kind of scares me with RMT though. But I mean, it's gonna happen anyways. So. Someone, yeah, someone said something earlier about Soma RMTing the guild bank funds away. That gave me a good laugh. Like, oh, that's my exit so strategy, boys. That, that's what I think happened with our old guild. Really? The guild died and wow, and we had like probably like a few hundred bucks worth of gold in there, and then what happened to it? That's no crazy. way. That's fucking yeah. dirty, dude. That's, that's terrible. Tough, dude. Well, what, what else are you going to do, right? If your guild dies overnight, I guess you just fucking make some money and move on with your life. I, don't know. I mean, you're making sense. But I mean, how much money do you make? Like, <laughs> you bucks, can't be the GM anymore. So he said four hundred dollars worth of gold. A few Wait, hundred dollars. It depends. Yeah, a few hundred bucks worth. Yeah, I'm I'm Probably. selling out, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm I mean, I don't, don't trust me with this power. Mm. Yeah, you can trust me. <laughs> I'll take I'll take care <laughs> of the I'm guild. I'm sure we can. I I have been fucked over before with a well guild. Um, WoW Classic, actually. I had a I had a WoW Classic guild. Donnie was in it. And uh, we merged with these friendly Canadian bastards. And oh, no. then I had to work. I think I had to like go to an event or something. And I left for a few days, and I couldn't play. And we had merged with these guys, and they became officers. And I, I can't remember exactly how it happened. But I came mm -hmm. back from like being gone for like five or six days for work. And they were like, you were gone. So we just took over your guild and like booted out all your officers and promoted all these guys. And they just took over. And that was that. It actually Sounds was like part a of the WoW guild merger. Yes, exactly. It was part of the reason why I was like, I rage quit WoW. I also, I did not want to get back into raiding constantly. I didn't, I didn't want to repeat history. I've already been there, done mm -hmm. that back in like 2005, six, seven. So I couldn't go through that again anyway. But that was the, the straw that broke the camel's back. These guys essentially like stealing the guild. It sucked. Guild drama blows. It's not, it's not cool. Also just so annoying to deal with. It's so silly. People yeah. are getting up in arms over almost nothing in fucking wild guilds. Crazy. Totally agree. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? What other questions, comments, concerns, thoughts, dreams? If you want to bitch, gripe, or complain, feel free. What do we got here? What do we got here? Let me see. Let me scroll. You got asked earlier about <clears throat> server merges for like the other floors, but I think we've talked about that plenty. Right? Hmm. Yeah. What if High Roller merged? Like High Roller was like that make it more dangerous, you know? I mean, that might make it a little bit more interesting. It's just the problem is the boss, dude. Only five portals. Imagine having a full lobby down there. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, maybe two teams at least. Uh, like, if your server doesn't like have half at least fill it or something, right? Yeah, that might be fun. Make high roll a little bit more dangerous because I mean, you know, it is kind of lame whenever you uh, clear a whole floor and then there's nobody there for the rest of the raid. It's like a little hmm. yeah, the like fear aspect's completely gone. Yeah, yeah, there was a couple times. Uh, I think three or four raids in a row this last play test. I think I've talked about this before where me and two buddies queued up for the ruins. We're in the lobby waiting. It says three of 18, five minutes to go, three of 18, one minute to go, three of 18, starting in 10 seconds, no one joined. And it was essentially a PVE raid, which you do it Terrible. once. You do it once, you're like, all right, well, we don't have to worry about anything. Let's just farm some skellies and some wisps and get some loot and get the fuck out. Then it happened again a second time. And we were like, okay, this kind of blows. We need, the, we need that player interaction. We need that PvP. Then it happened a third time. We were like, all right, this fucking sucks. We're going to the crypts. Mm -hmm. And we gave up on runes. It, it, it didn't even last. The PvE mode didn't even last a couple of raids before we had to call it quits on it. The PvP element's too important. Got to keep it no matter what. Right. Uh, 
That's a Soma question from Stashko. Stashko, how would you guys feel about incorporating some of the old 2E and 3E items like different potions, Tanglefoot bags, Alchemist flasks, and such? I think that sounds great. I think uh, we're only uh, scratching the surface of what Iron Mace is going to add in in terms of potions and consumables and probably even methods. There will eventually probably be methods where we can create our own consumables and potions. Um, I, I can't see them not adding something like that something maybe right. maybe there's like a there's reagents you can find in raid and maybe on certain maps you can get to some like basement alchemist's room where you know just like finding like a node you can mine you can take your reagents and you can make some clarity potions or something like that it makes sense right i think that'd be super cool be fun and yes uh the groundwork is there borlag is right they've already got like explosion bottles and and stuff like that. So yes, I absolutely. What about mobs dropping reagents? Sure, I think that makes sense. Or you can in the ruins you could pick herbs or berries or some shit, and you could, you know, make healing potions if you go into the crypts and go to the basement and find oh, an alchemist dungeon table. Dungeon berry, my favorite dude. Mm, moldy dungeon, dungeon berry. Dungeon berry. Yum, yummers. Uh... But yeah, I think that totally makes sense. I think it'd be great. That's where I think professions will kick in. So do shit like that. All right, I don't what, know what professions? If professions though? will be services or not. Look at the vendors and stuff. Do you think it would conflict if there was if like players could start doing professions? Would it fuck I with the merchants? I think it would be bad. Or, or just it would add like an MMO like component to it, where you're just like leveling some shit on the side. You know, makes your character good. Like what? I don't what? know if that's a good or bad thing. Jewel I mean, crafting, it... weapon smithing, you know alchemy and shit like that yeah we don't need first aid because anyone can use a goddamn bandage and find them but i guess if you right. wanted to make bandages yeah Maybe hmm. make some better ones or some shit i'm not sure that's not bad okay i personally this oh. this might be an unpopular opinion i fucking hated professions and wow the whole time i played world of warcraft <laughs> all the years i played wow there is one profession that i ever maxed out and used, and that's first aid mm -hmm. yeah I hated, hated professions. I thought it was so boring. I don't know. It can be, Profe for they, sure. They are boring. Yeah. But it's just like add something to do, I guess. But... Yeah, but you need some extra shit to do in a game like World of Warcraft, especially at Endgame. If you're not going to Warsong Gulch or AV or, or Athi Basin and you've completed your three raids for the week, what are you going to do? Just jump around on your mountain Stormwind? No, you got you need shit to do. Go fucking pick flowers and sell the goddamn potions on the auction house. <laughs> That's the best part of WoW, jumping in circles. Where you do jumping in nothing. circles, exactly. Yeah. I know. I think you're probably right. Professions do make sense, but they'd, it'd have to be fun, like the way they implement it. It'd probably yeah. be better to have them like in game, like vendors or whatever the fuck, like you were saying. You got to go to Alchemy Table or something in a, in a specific map. That sounds like having fun. Having personal personal skills is probably not the greatest idea. No, and I think sure. that it wouldn't be a profession that um, you would have to do any extra steps for. I think anyone would be able to just pick up the reagents, just like anyone can grab a mining pick and go yeah, mine cobalt. Just go there. Yeah, I think I think that sounds cool. I could be down with that. All right, chat. We got time for another few questions two or three questions we got five minutes left and then i do unfortunately have to go i can't even do after after dark tonight i'm sorry oh, i don't, yeah. don't want to rush tonight but i i do have to be out of here at eight um and go get that you know what's hilarious it's it's funny how this is a sunday night podcast but the last like three or four in a row have been tuesday do we switch to yeah. tuesday night or do we we stick to stick to sunday what do you guys think chat what do you guys think uh... sunday or tuesday night I don't really mind. I don't, Whatever. I don't really care. You know what? Let me let me get back to I you. The one works for me. Yeah. I like I Sunday might... night too. Oh, Sunday night's good. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk okay. about. It. I might have something that I might want to do on Sunday, but I don't know. So we'll talk about it. Okay. No problem. Sunday, Sunday, whatever is easier. Either's fine. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. What about rare stones yep. that can be used to add unique perks to weapons? So, like, you know, you find a weapon that has a socket, or maybe in the crypts or in some map, in the ruins, you go all the way down to the bottom of the ruins, 
and there's some like anvil and you can add a socket to a weapon Ooh. and then you could find gems like in diablo 2 rubies and i mean there already is gems in the fucking game what are we talking about there is sapphires mm. there is rubies and there's different uh levels to them right there's cracked diamonds or you could find an exquisite diamond and maybe they have stats associated so the the cracked one is you know if it's a ruby it's plus one strength or plus one to max health but if you get like a legendary ruby it's like plus 20 to health or something like that and you could set it in the the socket that would be cool i like that uh, i just wonder would that stuff break it would have to like not be permanent permanent right like maybe if you die and someone else looted you like the gems would break or something the gem falls out broken right but would the socket be empty yeah. and still there where they have to i don't know it's, it's tricky how, it's yeah. tricky how that would work yeah. because like if they if anything's permanent then like you know you fast forward a couple months on a wipe and then every item on the planet now is a gem slot you know that's a good point yeah hmm the Iron Mace team is really clever with this shit. I feel like they'd be able to figure it out, but I, I really do like the idea of being able to socket an item and throw a gem in it. And maybe it's, you know, like the anvil can only be used once per raid. So, well, then people would be fucking rushing to the anvil every goddamn raid. I'd be camping that shit yeah, with my that... 12 ranger traps ready to rock. Man. See, that would, that would break the game too. Yeah. You gotta randomize it. I think that um, is, yeah. If they procedurally generate, it'd be so much better. Yeah. Yeah. Because, dude, I mean, there's probably in. people now that they see a map and they go, oh, okay, I know which one this is. Because there's, there's what, like oh, four yeah. variations? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Honestly. Even I do that. Yeah. I, we talked about Fair. things that we loved about Dark and Darker and things we disliked about Dark and Darker last episode. And that is a really good point, I think, that we forgot to mention for stuff we don't like. I don't think set maps just a few rotating over and over again is great procedurally generated would really keep things spicy and, and new and fresh mm. or unless they have like 50 variants of the crypts 50 variants of the ruins yeah they'd have, have like a shit ton of offset it, it need to be more than 50 probably because there's some sweaters That's... out there some real sweaty people that would remember and memorize all 50 ruins maps right right it's kind of the problem I had playing V Rising recently because it's like a progression based game. But like people who play it, all the stuff is in the same spot. So they just, they don't have to like track it and stuff. How you, how you find the bosses in there, they just run to them. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Need a special key to unlock the anvil. That's cool. I like that. Um, set rooms that generate. Okay. Yep. 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 Uh, Anonagon says, "I would like a hardcore option. That'd be kind of that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, like one life, one life. Is that, is that what hardcore is? Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you could be revived, like in sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have sure. a cleric, everyone that'd just be, be rolling cleric. <laughs> the question hardcore is, do you go in like a cleric. hardcore queue, or do you like play the yes. normal game with everybody else? Hardcore I th queue. I think it'd have to be like a hardcore only mode if they did that." I could see people getting pissed off. That would be about that nuts, mode. though. It could would. Could you be. imagine? Because every time you kill somebody, you just fucking delete their character. Actually, that sounds pretty badass. It does sound pretty badass. It'd that have makes some. It'd epic have its own YouTube leaderboard. Content. Yeah, epic YouTube content. It'd have its own leaderboard attached. That I mean, that could be. Cool, That's a man. good leaderboard idea. Just like yeah. how many raids you've lived on that character, or whatever. Yeah. How many? How many idea. souls have you taken? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of like that. I'm cool with that. I kind of like that. Uh, hardcore comes with better loot rolls? No, I don't think so. I think it would just be if you well, die, you're dead. Thing. Same thing. Yeah. Just uh, for for the sweaty people. Uh, that could be fun. Because mm. people already do hardcore runs. It's Tons of YouTubers have like, my hardcore ranger run. And they get eight episodes in and they eventually die to a trap and then it's over, right? Yeah. That's all, it's already being done. I think to solidify it as a mode in the game could be interesting. I would probably, yeah, I would probably sure, make a hardcore character. There'd be fuck tons of rogues and clerics. Yeah, <laughs> that's the only ninety percent of the yeah the class lineup is rogue. Yeah, yeah. I want to see the the best hardcore bard in the world get past one match. Yeah, good luck. <clears throat> okay, one final question. <clears throat> okay, here it is. Here's the final question from Valfor. Whoever eats the least amount of nuggets in the McNugget challenge has to get the guild emblem tattooed on their body. 
Hell no. <laughs> I'm starving for a week up to that challenge. Ain't no way. Oh, man. That's hilarious. Just, like a... Just own it. Tramp stamp. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Every time you're hooking up with someone new, they're going to know exactly what guild you're in. I'd be like, oh, <laughs> DHP. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Oh man! And I get a whole it, back piece, and it would be it would angels. be the guild tag I said earlier, I gay, which is my favorite personal guild tag. <laughs> yeah, pride, Fair. all the way. Fair. Fuck yeah! Um, I like that idea of L four. I like it a lot. Um, gentlemen, it's eight o'clock. I do not want to end this. I'm having fun, but I have to go. I I oh, have. Dare you. I know. I'm so sorry. Um, we will be back on Sunday. It's 7 p.m. PT Sunday, right? Yeah, Sunday. That's yep. what we. That's what we told our our other. Yes. Okay. Sunday, 7 p.m. PT. Yeah. No, Sunday for sure. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Okay. Um, excellent. Well, I might be playing Dungeons and Dragons, so I might be like an hour late, but we'll see. That's the one problem with Sundays. Damn you. Let's we talk said about Sunday it. for sure last week too. We'll, okay. We'll figure it out. It's either going to be Sunday or Tuesday. How about that? We'll we're talk. Gonna, we're gonna it. we're gonna figure this out. We might have to change the the podcast to Tuesday. We don't we'll know. See. We're gonna we're gonna huddle up and have a guild meeting. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, officer meeting. Let me pull you down a channel. Yeah, exactly. Terrible. Ugh. Um. Uh, yeah. So we've been noticing some things lately. <laughs> <laughs> You're being really. Your, your rude. weapon doesn't have an enchant on it. I think we might have to uh, part ways, dude. This uh, is uh, your first written warning. Just <laughs> <laughs> I'm keeping track in a Google Doc. Uh, <laughs> Donnie, where can people find you online, sir? No. Uh, Twitch and YouTube, you do Donnie. Catch me streaming maybe some Red Dead this week. I don't know. Okay. We'll see. Okay. I want to get some PC upgrades, so I might do that here in the next uh, couple weeks. And um, yeah, just get some stuff upgraded and make some more stuff. Yeah. Beautiful. Mr. Griffia. Yeah. I'm Jay Griffia on a Twitch and a YouTube. That's me. No Twitter, no Insta? No. Nope. Grinder. I don't no? use either, okay. actually. I fucking hate social media. I hear you. Um, but I do have accounts. Uh, I'm at Soma on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, and at underscore Soma on YouTube. That's where you can find these episodes. Jay, I don't know if you're putting the episode up. I'll throw it in the drive, yep. of course, for you. Yep. Um, but feel free to catch any previous episode or this one on youtube that'll be uh uploaded tomorrow morning um i'm gonna stream some daisy tomorrow that's exciting cool there you go <laughs> that'll be at 7 p.m pt but beyond that that's it uh whether it's sunday or tuesday for episode 19 of the darkest hour we're gonna have a special guest which is really exciting so tune in for that one and until then hold the goddamn line hold the line hold the line unbelievable Yep. Meme of this. June twelfth. Ninth. Come on. Church of the nine. I'm betting on the twelfth, man. It's six nine. The Hold date. the line for six nine. Ah oh, yeah. It's gotta be it actually. It's gotta be it. It rhymes. Uh all right folks. Goodbye. Goodbye. Peace.